So Jacob, to first just reflecting on the last game, that draw against Exeter City, was it disappointing to not come away with three points or was it a, a fair result, do you think? Um, I think it was almost a game of two halves. Um, I think in the first half we were really good. We got after them. Um, we created a lot of opportunities to get in that final third. Um, and then obviously we got the goal from a well-worked set piece. Um, and then second half, I think they, they had large spells in the second half. Um, but we could have nicked the goal right at the start of the second half and then and held on to that. But I think towards the end of the game, um, probably a draw was a fair result. Um, but we could have easily won it or they could have won it as well. But yeah, a draw probably fair. Another draw though, there's been quite a few of them recently. I know, I know. It's just um, it's teams. the teams we're playing against are obviously high up in the league, so we've got to take some positives out of it. Um, but, but we'd like to, I think, Portsmouth especially. Um, it's been a couple of games where I think we could have got all three points. Um, so we've just got to kind of work towards that and, and try and stay positive, knowing that we can go up against these teams and match them and why can't we go and beat them as well. Yeah, how disappointing was it as well? You come off a game like that, one all draw, decent performance, and you're bottom of the table. I know. Um, I mean, it's it's getting to that point now, I think, where it's important to, to start picking up results. Um, we don't need to focus on the table too much for now because we know there's been games where we haven't been good enough and we've lost, but there's also been nine draws where we could have easily won four or five of them and then we're kind of low low mid-table. Um, so it's, it's about us as players kind of knowing what our jobs are, what we've got to do and and like it's there for us all to see we've got to go and get the points to push us out of that position yeah it really shows the importance of winning doesn't it it's better to win one and lose a couple than keep drawing yeah I know and, and that's the thing isn't it um, it's a weird thing about football where you can can win one and lose two or draw three and, and you have the same points um, and I think at, at this moment in the season we've probably we've drawn a lot of games um, so coming to the midway point now it's more about can we go and, go and win those games now Charlton another one of those big names in League One but they're really struggling aren't they they've, they've lost their manager they've just been knocked out of the FA Cup that they played last night Wednesday night with, with the game on Saturday coming yeah obviously they're a, they're a bit of a sleeping giant um, they've got good players though obviously um, Sam Lavelle's there who was here um, and a few other good players so no game in this league in this league is easy um, but we, we certainly like to, to think with some of the football we've been playing recently, we can go and get a result. It kind of feels like it's about getting that second goal at the minute. Most of these draws have been one all, haven't they? And just getting that second goal and getting that cushion would help. Yeah, I think um, it has been that. I think we've conceded a goal a game on, a, on average, except from Lincoln for the last six or seven games. So I think there's, just, there's games where we could have gone and scored two, or even Wickham away. You know, um, Ad has that one-on-one -on -one late on after his corner and, and could have gone and won the game there. And Portsmouth here, we had a lot of chances to go and win the game. Um, so, yeah, I think it is about us going and getting that second goal and maybe try not to protect what we have by, by sitting in, maybe go after, keep going after them, which is probably what we need to do. What about Cole Stockton? Two goals in two games now after a, quite a long drought. That must be good, must it, from that scoring goals perspective we've just been talking about? Yeah, obviously Cole was really important for us as a team and that was so evident last year because um, his goals kept us up. Um, so so hopefully he's hitting that a bit of a purple patch now, especially with the, the games coming up that we have and over the Christmas period. Um, he's, a, he's a top striker at this level. So there's no reason why he can't continue scoring as long as we provide him with the chances to. And a word about your keeper, Captain Connor Ripley, nominated for Player of the Month. He's been busy, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think um, he's obviously been been on top form. Um, he's a leader in the dressing room as well. Um, and yeah, I'm buzzing for him. And um, hopefully he gets it. <laughs>